Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Wednesday, Acts 5, 17 through 42. Isn't it crazy that the kingdom of God was working against the kingdom of heaven in our text this morning? What I mean by that is Israel was established as God's people on earth. The kings of that kingdom, even though originally God told them, hey, you shouldn't have a king, right? Like, I, I can, I'm your king. But once they rejected him as king and said they wanted a human king, God, in his grace and his mercy, like he does with us, as he embraced their mistake and filled their weaknesses with his strength, anointed those kings, chose those kings, to, for those kings to represent him to his people so that his people would represent him to the world, that all nations in the world might be blessed through Israel. And this ruler, this authority, this power, principality of the present age, which was established as the kingdom of God, Israel is a ruler and authority of the world of Jesus' time. Different, different Israel than today. Different uh, political structure and um, uh, constitution and all that stuff. To totally different Israel. But Israel was God's kingdom, supposed to be, but they were working against the purposes of God. You see, in this in this world, while we are learning, having gone through the Sermon on the Mount, having process been been processing through these characteristics of the kingdom, these beatitudes, learning how to be aware of the kingdom of God in our midst, the kingdom of heaven that is at hand. And abide in it. Every other rule and authority in this world, even biblical Israel, can begin to oppose the kingdom of God. Because every kingdom, every ruler, every power, every authority of this world wants more power. It is the Antichrist. Every rule and authority as it wants more power and tries to gain that power through acts of power is the Antichrist. Because Christ is the king, the true king, and he's the king who died for his kingdom, who taught us sacrificial love. As we're learning in these Beatitudes and in the Sermon on the Mount, the kingdom of heaven, which is at hand, is all about submitting to God so that we can learn to submit to each other and find the glory of God in humble, shared love. Every rule and authority, every corporation, every philosophy, every ideology, every nation, including the United States of America. I mean, goodness gracious, if biblical Israel can work against the kingdom of heaven on earth, then certainly America can and every nation. Even Grace Church Incorporated, if we don't steward it well towards submission to the kingdom of God, can become a power, a ruler, or authority, seeking to increase its power and influence by the world's ways, and will end up persecuting those who truly walk in the kingdom. Man, let us stand against the rulers and the authorities, the powers and principalities of this present age, even if that means persecution. Because blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.